freedom to worship. It's a luxury for Pakistani Ahmadis, many who attend prayers here at Sri Lanka's oldest Ahmadi mosque. Some parents say it's the first time their children have practiced their religious traditions. We pray in mosques openly. We spend our lives according to our religion. We feel freedom. Nusrat and her family are among hundreds of Pakistanis who travel to Sri Lanka to ask the UN to recognize them as refugees. They belong to a group which believes in a prophet who came after Prophet Muhammad. In Pakistan, it's illegal. Two months ago, Nusrat's husband was arrested in a crackdown by immigration authorities who have arrested more than 200 asylum seekers. Fleeing jail, persecution and possible death, Ahmadis from Pakistan were hoping that Sri Lanka would be a safe place to wait while the UN processes their claims for asylum. But now they're worried. Sri Lankan immigration officials have ordered a number of asylum seekers to be sent back to Pakistan. Amatul Kausa says her 20-year-old son Rizwan was put on a plane to Pakistan 10 days ago. She and her extended family are scared others will follow. I am very frightened now what, is, uh, what will be happen to my husband, whether he also deported to Pakistan. There is nothing for us, no business, no homes, nothing. On July 27th, three Ahmadis were killed when their homes were burned down in Pakistan. My son keeps asking me, if we go back, will they burn us? I have no answer for him. A lawyer challenging the immigration authorities in court says victims of persecution shouldn't be forced to go back. Non-refoulement is a right under customary international law, which, is a, which need to be abided by the all countries of the world, irrespective of whether they are part of these treaties or not. The Sri Lankan government says the influx of people seeking asylum has become a burden on state resources and potentially compromised state and regional security. While those involved debate the details, Amathul and most families like hers are packing their bags just in case. Minel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Nigambo, Sri Lanka.